Ali and Nita are in a rush. They need to pick the kids up and then get to the hospital to visit Ali's dad. And Nita's working tonight. We're late, Neat. The kids will be out already. He loves driving and he loves his new car. It's got all the latest safety features. Sweet! <laughs> More than a million people die on the world's roads every year. Millions more suffer life-changing injuries. We know that speed is a major factor in many road crashes. The majority of speeding drivers who cause death or injury are normal people on normal journeys. But speeding needs to be taken as seriously as drink or drug driving. Knowing a bit about the physics of crashes can help us understand why this is so important. Here's what we know the risk of injury increases exponentially with impact speed. When a car crashes, it's the amount of kinetic energy that the car has which determines the force of impact. Small increases in speed lead to much higher increases in kinetic energy. When you're driving, it's hard to perceive that a slight increase in speed is really so damaging. It's easy to let speed creep up, but a crash at 30 miles per hour involves twice as much energy and destructive potential as a crash at 20. Small increases in speed result in bigger increases in stopping distances. At higher speeds, a driver has less time to react to the road ahead of them. A car can travel a long way in the few seconds it takes a driver to think and react to any danger. Slowing down gives the driver more time to avoid the collision. New technology can help you to keep within speed limits. The important thing isn't to crash at slower speeds, it's to be able to stop in time and not crash at all. This means slowing down. If, like Pete, your car has technology like intelligent speed assistance that helps you to keep within speed limits, I urge you to use it. Ali and Pete are normal drivers, just like you and me, and some of the time they travel above the speed limit. They don't speed everywhere, and they wouldn't describe themselves as dangerous drivers. Most of us wouldn't either. We might say it's okay for us to speed because we think everyone else is doing it, or perhaps we're unaware that we're going too fast. But because we sometimes drive too fast, we collectively increase the risk of crashes on our roads and we increase the risk of someone that we love being involved in a crash. A person can die or be seriously injured if hit by a vehicle travelling at any speed. That's why it's important to keep within speed limits and drive at the right speed for the road conditions. Slow down to 20 miles per hour in places where people live.